Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for March 30th of 2024 is titled Medieval Astronomy from Milk Abbey. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a page of lecture notes for an astronomy uh, lecture from the year 1490. Now we have to remember this is before the time of people like Galileo and Copernicus and Tycho, who gave us a lot of our modern understanding of the universe and how it works. And in fact, at this time, even Copernicus, who was the first modern astronomer to suggest a heliocentric universe, was still only have been a teenager. So long before any of that. So here what we see in the diagrams are how eclipses work under the Ptolemaic system. Now, Ptolemy gave us an understanding of the universe from an Earth-centered view, and that was the case for most of the time up until into about the 1500s when we started to get some ideas that really the Earth may not be the center of the universe. And this here we see on the left a lunar eclipse showing Earth in the center with the larger sun, large sun off to the lower right of it and then the smaller moon in the shadow of the Earth. On the other we see the eclipse of the sun and there we see again the Earth at the center so the Earth is still at the center in both of these the moon then in between Earth and the sun blocking out the sun's light. So you can explain these eclipses even in a system where the Earth is at the center. However, there are other things that cannot be explained by the Earth stationary at the center of the universe that were then discovered later. But you can still explain these. And that's some of what we're seeing here uh, as how these can be explained. Now we can see in the bottom we can see the system there with the Earth at the center and then each of the planets the moon and then each of the planets as you work out to the sphere of the stars at the outer regions of our universe. Now that would have been the picture of the universe at that time that our solar system and universe were essentially interchangeable. We did not yet have the understanding of how far away those stars actually were and here you can see them just out beyond the orbit of Saturn, where in reality they are vastly farther away. Now the calendar in the lower right is actually a way to calculate the day of Easter Sunday under the Julian calendar. Now the Julian calendar was the calendar that would have been in use at this time and is not was later superseded by the Gregorian calendar because the Julian calendar was off a little bit and would slowly drift and over thousands of years was off by more than a week. So we've readjusted that since then in the Gregorian calendar, which is used now is much more accurate and drifts far less. And it has a little bit of a difference in the way that leap years are calculated. So here we see those notes from a very early astronomy lecture going back to the latter part of the 15th century. So that was our picture of the day for March 30th of 2024. It was titled Medieval Astronomy from Melk Abbey. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Eclipse Below. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.